Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2013 Nissan Altima sedan four door SV with only 17,000 miles. It's loaded up with uh, factory alloy wheels, factory color backup camera, power seat, Bluetooth, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. Has four matching Michelin tires that are not new, but they're still in good shape. They definitely don't need to be replaced. It's still got two good thread left to them. Four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute when I get inside of it. Also has remote start, and I'll show you that when we come around. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. The car has no dents, no hill damage, no lug bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. I'm going to go ahead and lock it up. Uh, this car has the intelligent type key. But first, I'm going to show you the remote start. Locked it up, and you press and hold that little circle in the top there. And the car starts right up. And this is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot out. As long as you had the air conditioning when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC and it'll cool down the car for you. Same thing in the winter, as long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. If you once you're ready to drive off, all you gotta do is walk up to the car, press the little switch in the door handles, I'll show you in a minute, get inside, step on the brake, and you're ready to drive off. If you decide you change your mind and you're not going to uh, drive off at the time you want to turn it off, just come over here and press again, and the car turns right off. I'm going to put the key in my pocket and show you how the intelligent key works. When you approach the vehicle, both front doors have a little switch right on the handle. You press it once uh, for the driver door and quickly thereafter for all three of the doors. And now all four doors are open. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get back to the front. We'll come back to the passenger section in a minute. The door panels are all charcoal black. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, uh, power mirrors, we got a driver's side, uh, power seat, and power re uh, recliner. We got a manual tilt wheel down here, the lever there. We got our curtain side airbags, as well as um, Seat side airbags. I don't know if you can see the little tab from here. That's your seat side airbag tab there. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous drivers or owners were um, non smokers. Uh, this has a velour type uh, seating that if you comb it one way, it marks it like this. It just so I don't want you to think you're seeing stains, okay? It's just the way the seat um, uh, shows. It's like a it's like a cloth velour type thing that if you go like that, it shows. Uh, it, it makes it look like it's got a stain or something, but it's not. It's in the interior is in perfect condition. All right, let me go ahead and get inside of it now. Okay, once you get inside the car, uh, the vehicle senses that you have the key nearby. So all you've got to do is that's asking you there is uh, asking you to step on the brake and hit the push button start. So let's do that. I already got my foot on the brake. Hit the, hit the push button start. You don't have to hold it. Just press it and let it go. And the car starts right up. Let's go ahead and lower the volume on the stereo. And let's put on the AC as is uh, really hot outside today. And then we'll put it low enough so you can hear me talk. The car has 17,000... Um, 711 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly. And that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is running to perfection. The only light that's on over there 
it's a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. When we put the car on reverse, you get the color backup camera right there that has parking guidelines. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back in our park. All right, um, uh, we've got dual climate control. What that means is, for example, right now I think we're on dual mode. Here we go. Uh, you can put, for example, I just put the uh, driver's side as to 60 degrees, while the passenger side is to 68 degrees. All that really means is that this vent here and that vent over there will blow at a certain temperature, which is right now is at 68 degrees, and this one here and this one over here will blow at 60 degrees. That way the front passengers can have uh, uh, their own preference when it comes to the temperature setting. Um, you got uh, this pops open into a uh, cigarette lighter adapter over here for your chargers and also a uh, USB port right there it has like a wood trimming type here or a carbon fiber um, got cup holders little tray here here where you rest your elbow there's also storage got a top tier and a bottom tier for the more for larger storage and uh, you get another cigarette lighter adapter over here for your chargers Okay, to get to the two tiers, um, this one here, you got a, a tab here, another tab here. This one is for your, um, sorry, I tapped the camera. This is for your top tier. And if I pull on this one, is your bottom tier where the larger storage is at. Okay, um, you got your glove box over here. Nice and deep storage in there. Okay, um, up in the top, we got a mini over the head console. It has cup holders, uh, not cup holders, sorry, uh, sunglass holders up there. And uh, I believe your microphone for your Bluetooth is up, uh, is up here, and you get also map lights on either side. Um, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the stereo. By the way, you can control the stereo right here. Raise or lower the volume. Lower it here. Okay. And uh, over here you got the source button, and that source button takes you from right now, I believe we're on FM, to your second FM, to AM, and back to FM. Uh, this button here, you tap it up or down, it's to navigate about your preset stations. These are the ones that you set yourself down here, which of course can be changed. You got also an auxiliary input here for your iPod, so you can play your iPod music right on your factory stereo sound system. Um, over here you got cruise control on the right hand side and also your controls here for your Bluetooth and this is to navigate about your onboard computer to go back and put settings and change certain things um, up in the top here where you see that car way up there I don't know if you can see it has it shows 193 miles that's your distance to empty and on the right hand side is the outside current temperature Let's go ahead and pan it with the dashboard now so you can see some perfect shape with it. Any cuts, tears, cracks, or burn holes. Vehicle's in remarkable condition. I mean, it's clearly 2013 is nearly in new condition. Um, in the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5. And we're always closed on Sundays. Okay, the steering wheel is a leather wrapped steering wheel. And I'll pan around it nice and slow now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, stairs, burn holes, cracks, no stitching coming apart, no color missing. Cars are in brand new condition. Um, let's finish going around here. Okay, we got um, power windows. The driver's side power window's got an A there. It means it's automatic and all that really means is a one touch. It means you don't have to hold the switch of the window to go down or up for that matter. All you gotta do is tap it up or tap it down. The other ones are regular power windows. All you gotta do is press it and hold it. And if you release it, they'll stop wherever you released it. Um, your, uh, your trip uh, is here. Down here is to disable your traction control and your power trunk. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and turn off the car. I remember the key is still in my pocket. It's never left my pocket. Once I'm ready to exit the vehicle, all I gotta do is press here. You don't even have to step on the brake. You don't have to hold it. Just press it and let it go. Now the car turns off. See, when you get in, when you get in, it tells you hello, welcome, whatever, or hello. I think it's welcome. And then uh, when you leave, it says goodbye. So 
it's nice and easy to tell you could tell that you did not leave the car running or anything is open or anything like that it has like a little message center where that car was up in the front there okay this vehicle is a five passenger two in the front and a full bench in the rear for up to three passengers and they all have an over the shoulder belt including the middle row passenger which uses that belt right there in the back of the center console there are AC vents for the rear row passengers you get also anchors for your baby car seat there are two on each side here this is so you can put your baby car seat back here and attach it the rear door panels are the same as in the front all charcoal black with a gray trimming here and a chrome handle this vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that goes. Push that little lever in here. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do the opposite. And this handle will start working again. I was telling you before, they have seat side airbags. It's much easier to see from here. So you get your curtain side airbags on the post here. That is that uh, is stretched throughout the whole side and also the seat side airbags. Let me give you another look at the headliner here from a different angle so you can see that it has no stains, no burn holes, no cuts, it's not falling anywhere. Alright, let's move on to the uh, trunk. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way, they're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in perfect shape, it's not pitted or cracked or oxidated. Again, it's the uh, SV version, right rear tail light, perfect shape. To pop the trunk, you can access it by just pressing and holding here. And the, the trunk uh, pops open, you got to lift it up. Uh, and it's got a huge trunk. You can place uh, plenty of stuff back here. Easily, you can put three golf bags, lots of groceries, whatever you got to put back here. Plenty of space. Um, also, these, um, I think these... Uh, these seats will actually flip forward. Yeah, there's a way to flip the seat forward. Uh, so you can go into like cargo mode and then that section back there, the back of the seats will flip forward and you can put stuff in there. <clears throat> Chrome door handles, right rear door panel, perfect shape. Of course, we got the child lock protection on this side as well. Let's take another look at the rear seating area for three passengers and all of them have over the shoulder belt. Another look at the headliner from a different angle. So you can see it has no flaws. Passenger front here. Perfect shape. All right, I want to go ahead and talk to you about financing before we conclude the video. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing and you want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to our website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for this beautiful 2013 Altima SV. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.